this gizmo is my new raider. Since the charming reavers pop along every so often and decimate the top side of our base and I have a bad habit of leaving my ships parked out there, I end up rebuilding them pretty regularly, which I like doing. It's pretty poor motivation for me to stash my ships away, but I enjoy rebuilding them so much. So this new one's got a crane with a set of pistons, so I can just grab things with the front foot, lift them around. It's got a lot of lifting power, this one. So it's got two large containers, and it's got a survival kit so that I can respawn here if I'm attacking a base over and over or doing any kind of spamming them with clones tactics I've just got a survival kit I can keep reappearing at it's got a token turret so that I can pan a camera around and zoom in on things mostly but I can technically chase a ship and try and plink it at long range got a lot of battery power, it's got a bit of solar, as I say, it's got a lot of lift, it's got four of those big lifty engines, and so it can carry a lot, this is the shake you down cruise in action, so I think I've ended up adding some extra engines here and there as you do, some strafing ones, I think it's maybe some braking and propulsive ones, I don't remember. But it's got, I think, eight, seven or eight small build and repair units, which are what's making those magical sparkles there that are flying back and forth. So they're set to grind whatever's furthest. So they're just zipping out, pulling this base to bits, zipping it back, filling my cargo containers with building materials, scrap, girders, got some detector components there, variety of goodies, means I don't have to mount a big set of grinders on the front and I don't have to have a massive amount of engines all over the place so that I can tilt those grinders and I don't get snagged on things and end up upside down and all the sort of nonsense you get with a classic grinder ship is avoided by just using these uh, these build and repair mods instead it just means I'm all lift and I can carry a lot instead and it means I can have silly buggers like this crane on the nose which is butt ugly but it's dead useful for lifting batteries around and things like that, hauling stuff, it's right in front of the cockpit so even if I'm in an underground hangar or something enclosed and I'm trying to move something and I can't use the external view very well, the gripping point is right in front of the cockpit so I can just be in there looking at what I'm doing with the crane. It's fairly forgiving in that regard. It's got pistons in every direction, so I can extend it well out from the ship, pluck things, lift things up, shuffle them around, generally be a crane. So my cargoes are filling up with junk. The old enemy base is falling apart. The scaffold we were using to siege it, our siege scaffold falling to bits in the base with it so the full load of scrap I'll swing around and fly this back to the underminer mobile base which is tucked away underground at the moment and I've just uh, connected a, a pipe and a connector to it that I can offload all this sort of gear onto it. Rather 
rather than flying the huge underminer around and salvaging with that, there's not much left of this base. So this is just a smaller, smaller nano raider that does the job. Seems like I'm always rebuilding these. So this is the biggest and baddest and newest version of the, the nano raiding themed aircraft. Fairly happy with it once I sorted the right number of engines out. So next I'll be experimenting with the hydrogen changes, I guess, and seeing what amounts of cargo I can put into orbit with the new hydrogen system. Should be interesting.